economy. Uh, business travelers spend much of their time crisscrossing the globe, as well as waiting at airports uh, during layovers. Uh, during that time, some of them uh, work in solitary and others uh, simply idle. But what if there was a way for people to not only uh, boost their career development, but also make useful connections and have fun doing it? Uh, that's where Beagle comes in. So, what Beagle does is it brings people with similar career interests and uh, even similar backgrounds together. So what we've done is uh, we've actually analyzed real data from over 300 beacons in SFO uh, over a week. And you're taking a snapshot of that to uh, depict how Beagle can bring together people, help them share their passions, and in the process even uh, provide uh, revenue for the restaurants and establishments that make up the airport. Uh, here's actually a landing page for that. Uh, you can see that's the number of people who would attend a, an interest group, and uh, there's a topic. It, it helps you meet like-minded individuals uh, where, with which you can form a powerful network. And it's really efficient because it helps you connect um, quickly and without hassle. So you can focus on um, getting to know people and making lifelong friends. Uh, as for APIs we're using, we're using the we're using the IBM Watson uh, Watson and uh, Alchemy APIs to analyze uh, data that we take from LinkedIn profiles that we uh, uh, that we take from users. We use the LinkedIn OAuth um, API or service to create profiles for users. Uh, we also use the uh, SFO um, beacons uh, data set provided to us to uh, to create some uh, to create some analytics basically for uh, for the profiles that we we've, we've uh, created or that we've um, gotten from, from users. And we also use the um, uh, I think that's been actually. Uh, so. Um, this is on our app. Uh, it looks a little different on the screen, but you can sign up with LinkedIn. And um, the reason we chose LinkedIn is because we want to target business travelers, and uh, business travelers tend to use um, LinkedIn, and they have their professional networks on LinkedIn. So um, if I sign in, um, So um, over here you can see a map of San Francisco Airport, and along with that you can see all these people. Um, this is from the 300 person data set that we found, uh, that we used. And along with that there are green and red dots. So um, the green dots represent like meetups based on like industries. Like for example, two people are in the same like technology industry, then they both show up as a um, I mean, the meetup green is a green dot. And if like two people are for the same company, then it's like a red dot <coughs> of a group of people. And um, basically what the app does is it uh, helps like locate and helps um, people um, find uh, meetups based on like their distance from each other. So, for example, let's say we want to check out. Um, <coughs> I'm, I'm interested in computer science, so the um, algorithm knows, and it says um, you can meet other people in your profession, two other people, and um, based on the location of everyone else, it finds a central location, and uh, it also shows you who else is meet up already. Along with one. And uh, there's one. One of the challenges we face here is geolocation in such a small space, like in a venue. And for this, we actually had to draw on the Micello API, which allows for highly precise and targeted um, location services. And along with the beacon data, this allowed us to pinpoint locations and create these clusters of, um, of meetups where people could come to discuss, engage, and learn more. Thank you.